What? Wow. What? Yeah. Uh, somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. You got Diamond Dave Damone. I am the Appleton Oak. Tonight we're going to be checking out Stranger Things Season 4, Chapter 4, Dear Billy. The big uh, one everyone tells us. Uh, you guys have been awesome not dropping those spoilers Thank you. other than letting us know that Chapter 4 is off the chain. Uh, they came in real hot with the first episode. Two and three kept that pace up. Um, but like I said, everybody's been saying Chapter 4 is it. I'm telling you, man, one was like, boom. So when people are telling us that chapter four is at a whole different level, uh, I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous. There's been some real cringy stuff in the first three <laughs> chapters. So when people are telling us that this one is wild, I'm not exactly sure what that's referencing, but there's only one way to find out. Yeah, judging by the title and what we last left off with, with Max on episode three, can only imagine. So with that being said, let's go. Let's go. Our friends live in Hawkins. My family lives in Hawkins. And I'll work to contain the situation until Eleven is ready. Made a point to call her Eleven. Mm-hmm. There are factions within our government who are working directly against Eleven. If they learn about any of this, it will jeopardize Eleven. So what, we're just supposed to trust that you're the good guys? We're friends of Owens. Eleven trusted us. Now we're asking the same from you. Well, and here I was thinking at the end of the episode, they were there to pick them up and go. Oh, I've gone to become a superhero again. Right here. Oh, man, this is gonna keep A grandfather clock. It was so real. At least she's talking about it, yes. you know? So she's the first one to talk about it. Chrissy and our guy Fred didn't say anything about it. Fred and Chrissy, they both came to Miss Kelly for help. They both were having headaches and the nightmares. They'd wake up in a cold sweat. They started seeing things, bad things from their past. They kept on getting worse and worse until eventually everything ended. Oh, oh that arm. Back in his car. So, Fred, six days ago. I've been having them for five days. Oh, so they're closing in on the timeline. They both died less than 24 hours after their first vision. Looks like I'm going to die tomorrow. I mean, she's in my eyes, she's toast because something. they don't have anything yet. Uh, the t our guy, he's always, he's, he's a gangster. Grabs a lamp. Lucas! Holy Jesus. It's me! Lucas? It's me! It's me! I'm sorry. I couldn't take you out with this lamp. I couldn't take I'll spike you for eight miles. We've got a cold red. What? I've been with Jason, Patrick, and Andy, and they've gone like totally off the rails. They're trying to capture Eddie, and they think you know where he is. That definitely sucks, but we've got bigger problems than Jason right now. I was gonna say, is she hearing that? But it's part of the, the transition we're going into here. I'm trying to hold out a little bit of hope for Max here that they might come up with something. The but dear the Billy, time, no, no, dude. The dear Billy part, she's gonna. She's going to pull through it. The other people were, I think Chrissy clearly was having like her, her own like mental weaknesses. And Fred seemed like he was real timid too. Oh, but Max, well, is a, she's a badass, right? Yes. So she's a badass. So I think if anybody um, can, you know, can, can make it through what's going on, it's her. I'm really hoping you're right, dude. You know, and I also got to say... I gotta praise all the YouTube reactors for not making such uh, spoiler-ish thumbnails. So <laughs> all of been... our fellow reactors, <laughs> it's been great so far. There's been no spoilers whatsoever. <clears throat> uh -oh. Hey there, is uh is Lucas home? Negative. We were supposed to go out. Go and... out? I see he's taking a step down for Max. Uh, do you know Dustin Henderson? Know him? I've bled with him. If and when you do find Lucas, please tell him I've been covering for his ass for two days now. Each day of covering costs 10 bucks. Another week of this, and he's buying me a goddamn Nintendo with Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. With Duck, with duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Folks, drop your comments on how much you loved Duck Hunt. So far, everyone Vecna has cursed has died, except for this old Victor Creel dude, Nancy. 
How can Vecna have existed back in the 50s? It doesn't make sense. How did Vecna get through? Oh, and how's he getting through now? Just pops out in the 50s, kills one family, and he's like, eh, I'm good. Only to return 30 years later and start killing some random teens. Oh, God, I keep, you know, it's the 50s and then the 80s, and you think, you know, the, the time difference, you're thinking 70 years, but. Right, because of what they found out. Right. What happened in the 50s and current timeline of the 80s. Any idea what she's writing? Probably a goodbye letter. We have a plan. Thanks to Nancy's newspaper minions, we are now rock star psychology students at the University of Notre Dame. So we call Penner's Asylum. We landed at three o'clock with the director and convince him to let us talk to Victor. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, where's mine? He's not going. I, I just, I, I can't do anything here, man. It turns out this Dr. Hatch is a distinguished fellow of the American Psychiatric Association and a Harvard visiting scholar. Okay, this is a lifelong student of the world and if we're gonna win him over, we're gonna have to convince him that we are too. That music oh, box is always creepy. Academic scholar. She's giving you an academic scholar vibe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, take it easy. That was harsh. You can check on your kids later. There are certain things one can be late to in life. One year old's birthday party, because who cares? That little idiot's not gonna remember it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of true, right? I'm sorry, I'm very tense. Nearly. You know, a lot of some people in the comments have been mentioning too how well, with all the characters they have in this show, how well balanced they've been intertwining everyone there's the so yep, much so going great. there's so much going on i mean there's a lot of different plot lines they arrived last night all goes well but tomorrow night you're home and i give you odds of success 50 to one how's he walking i changed mine the hundred to one where do you want it it's not my face it must be pretty for your woman he's not my woman <laughs> oh see there's the chains when he was getting up you could see the chain i thought he Got it off last night, though, or last time. He, so if I remember correctly, it was, they beat it up enough to where he can slip his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. I'm just getting something to drink. How does this house arrest work? You're not under arrest. No, no, you're, you're here to protect us. Hey, it's what they did back in the 80s. Surfer Boy Pizza, isn't that the, um, the pizza thing that was on top of, um, his boy's van. Yeah, so but he's probably sure he gonna there. he's gonna order pizza from his dude. Dude's gonna come to deliver the pizza. He's gonna feed him a message. Or escape. Or that. If you keep staring at that, it's not gonna change. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Get your head in the game, Mike. You gotta come up with some plans. We we had a bad fight. We never fight. I don't know, this one just felt more adult. Like, like it was a fight that you can't come back from. You're going to see her again. So whatever you didn't say, you can say it to her then. I think the lesson in this is don't miss an opportunity to tell somebody that you love that you love them. Because you never know. Do it. And that's Oak's lesson for this, e this episode. Do it. That was you guys who saved me. That was you guys. Looks like it's going to be up to us again. Which is why we can't stay here. Let's assume these friends of Owens are telling the truth. Then we'll just have to go to them. Go to Hawkins. What are you worried about? They're half asleep right now watching golf. Calling the pizza guy. Schmacking. Schmacking good. <laughs> Schmacking good. What? We're hungry. Surfer Boy Pizza, this is our gal speaking. We make everything fresh here at Surfer Boy except for our pineapple, which comes from a can. Oh. Fruit on your pizza's gnarly, you say. Well, I say try before you deny. <laughs> what is this? Just to bring up the whole, does pineapple go on a pizza? <laughs> Drop a comment below. Does pineapple go on a pizza? I say no. I I can't do it. I'm not saying it. Pro I'm not saying it doesn't taste good or bad. I just <laughs> okay. personally, I can't He's do it. He's trying to be diplomatic. <laughs> I say no. It's for you. Oh God. And, um, yeah. See, goodbye letters in case. No, don't. That's not for now. Don't open it now. Don't. Okay. If we go to East Hawkins, will this storage Penhurst? Wait, why are we talking about East Hawkins? No. No. What's in East Hawkins? Oh, that stupid clock. And this is a recommendation from Professor Britley. I know, Mary. Those who can't do, teach. Uh, yes. I mean, we can only learn so much in a classroom. But there is a protocol to visiting a patient like Victor. You have to put in a request. And then you have to undergo a screening process, at which point 
the board will make a decision. Of course, there's a process. Lame. Our thesis is due next month. And you're out of time. Whose fault is that? Ours. <laughs> Absolutely. The fact of the matter is, we did put in a request months ago and were denied. And coming here was our last ditch effort to save our thesis. I'm starting to think this whole thing is a colossal mistake. I'll tell you the truth, Anthony. May I call you Anthony? These aren't actually my clothes. I borrowed them because I wanted you to take us seriously. Because what wow. is she doing here? Oh, girls take in this field. Other kids, they wanted to be astronauts, basketball players, rock stars, but I wanted to be you. So forgive me if I'll now try anything in my power to speak to the man that ignited my passion and learn a little bit more about how his twisted, but let's face it, totally fascinating mind works. So go figure, this this speech will get her, get them in. So, 10 minutes with Victor. That's all I ask. I'm back You're in. <laughs> what? Wow. What? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, she came through. Bravo. Stepped Bravo. up. <laughs> wow, what a moment for her. And being real, but slightly going, you know, she told the line. It was good for her. Hello? Who are you? I, we're looking for Yuri. Is Yuri here? I'm sorry. You are day late. Yuri was on sightseeing trip to see polar bears. Bears got into plane and kill Yuri. No. This is Yuri. Yeah. They broke his heart. Puncture it with the bear claws. You're like, we got the 40K, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got you. I got you good. Let's be Joyce. Just Joyce. And you are Murray. Yuri. Yuri, man. Yuri, man. <laughs> Joyce. I like how he just did that. You two seem very nice, very trustworthy people. You are free. Please, have some coffee. Still hot. Gosh, part of me wonders if that plane's ever going to take off, man. Is he going to charge it? <laughs> oh Business man, this here. is risky. Oh, how's, Jesus. How's he gonna get out of here? Everyone knows what he looks like. Uh, well, this dude, this is not good. <laughs> well, at least he got one. Yeah, I don't know how he thought he was gonna get the other one off. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Trigger. Yeah, that's not gonna be good if that thing goes off. Oh, oh. there goes the trigger. Oh, okay, so the plan is now to blow it up and make it uh, some kind of Houdini escape. Yep. Oh, and he's barefoot in snow. And just jumped off the roof with his messed up foot. Oh. Oh, that took out a lot. Oh, he's oh, got so this. Snowmobile. Okay, so this is part of the plan the whole time. Oh, come on, stay away from the motor. That's a lot of rounds flying off at that sled. All right, he made it. A hundred to one, son of a bitch. Disappointed myself for not realizing that was part of the plan, but I thought that plan was coming in later, not right there. No time like the present. Dad. Oh, Dad. Granny. Granny. Imagine being this age and writing your own goodbye letters. Hey, sweetie. I thought you were with your friends today. Yeah, I, I was. I, I am. Um, I, I left some letters inside. With all the murders and everything. Baby, nothing is going to happen to you. I know, but if, if it did, just promise that you'll get the letters out, okay? I'm not trying to scare you. Is something going on, Maxine? No. It's okay. Nothing is going to happen, baby. Nothing you don't deserve. Oh, no. no. No, no, no. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Oh, no. Get out of your head. So she's trying to oh, fight it. Me. You think some letters are going to make things right? Your time is almost at an end. <laughs> okay, so she fought it a little bit. She did. Fred and Chrissy obviously were 
just seemed traumatized, but they didn't seem like they were fighting it. Right. And she, she, she's the first one who was conscious that a Vecna existed. The other two just didn't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. She was conscious of it. Is they this could. Shady Acres from East Van The vast majority <laughs> choose to be here. We found that music has a particularly calming effect on the broken mind, particularly one which holds some personal meaning. Do you think it might be possible for us to speak to Victor alone? I, I think that we would just love the challenge. Then we could really rub it in Professor Bradley's face when we get back to campus. Professor Bradley, I don't... Bradley? What? Didn't I say? Bradley, what did I say? Sorry, silly me, words. Bury in a hole. Yes. <sighs> Why not? Just like that. Keep a close eye on them. Okay, here's a question. It's the 80s, not the... 20s so are there recording devices in the room oh this feels a lot like silence of the lambs doesn't it i was just gonna say the same thing do not touch him stand five feet away from the bars at all times today's your Finally lucky day get to see victor you got visitors must be in one of his moods have fun what are the chances they don't stay five feet back my name is nancy nancy wheeler and this you know who, did you get like a Liam, Liam Neeson what? feel to it? Or who did you think at first? That's, uh, f- the, uh, doesn't that look like Freddy Krueger? The guy who played Freddy? Oh, Robert England? England. Robert England. No. Whatever killed your family, we think it's back. It is! Yo! Are you sure that's him? So. So what? Why are his eyes gone then? Did they I don't say? No, I thought they just told, said they. I thought they just said they took his family's eyes. Maybe he took his own after. I don't know. Hey, also, but uh, about the last few days, you don't have to say anything. Listen, the truth is, the last year has been weird, you know. And I mean, you know, Max and Lucas and Dustin, they're they're great. It's Hawkins. It's not the same without you. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Whatever it is, I, I, I think we should work together. We're a team. Friends. Well, that really moved Will. <laughs> They're going to have to throw their bags out the window or something. Grabbed his painting? Dude, that has to be more than just a painting. Yeah, something's up with that. Hello there. Oh, what the hell is that? What? Stay here! <laughs> God, is that? What's going on? But this this dude's taking on a bunch of a uh, bunch of military personnel. I shoot you run. Like, no, are the cops being called? I mean, like this. Oh, he just got tagged. Cool, man. Ah! Stop the car! Ah! Go, 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 go. go, go. Okay. Oh yeah! Ah! Jesus. Jeez. What the hell just happened? That was what? not a regular mi- military dude. No, I think the black suburbans was our cue. Uh, well, although the regular government does use. Oh, damn. Okay, now your turn. But first I will call Enzo. If your friend is dead, I could save myself trouble and fuel. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure he's not dead. But still, I should check. Yeah, you should. So you thinking that military attack was from the commander? It can't be. The guy that he had earlier that went went to um, uh, Paul Reiser's place. Yeah, that commander. He, he ordered it. Yeah, he found I out that he him. found out that they're the ones who snatched up eleven, and they're following up on it. Hopper has, has to have some frostbite going on. <laughs> Sets in pretty quick when you're in bare feet in the snow, but then again, adrenaline is a hell of a hell of a motivator too. The key will be under the rock. Inside will be socks and boots. Look and, at that and, storage. And old rifles. You know, in the snow like that, those snowmobiles leave tracks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, savor the flavor, but you got to get moving. 
does he have to stay there for a day? Oh, he might have to stay there for a day. But that's now, now that's ringing in my head when you said about the tracks. The tracks and the footprints in the snow. I mean, that's a that's like rookie stuff. Change plans. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. What the hell? He drugged him with the coffee. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. What kind of a plot twist is this? Oh my god, dude. What a piece of shit. Oh my. Not that I expected him to be a saint by any means, but... Holy shit. Did I make your coffee too strong? You will be reunited with your American boyfriend very soon. Oh my god, dude. What? What just happened? Oh, the nope. cemetery. Well, I was way wrong, folks. Oh, did she write a letter for Billy? The title of the chapter is Dear, Dear Billy. Billy. Was it back? I told you. I'm fine. You know you can talk to me, right? This is part of... Defeating Vecna, let it out. I don't need a letter. Just talk to me. We're right here. I'm right here. What I said earlier, right here. Say it. Got something to say, say it. I know that's cliche, but don't wait. Look, they're not that's even, why we think they're zero feet next. away from him. You don't know anything. We need to know how you survived that night. I don't know if that's England. I think it looks like him, I but I don't is. know if that's him. Yeah. Oh, dude, that I that's him. Survive. Yeah. I am still very much in hell. Okay, okay flashback. This is amazing. Yeah. This is nice. Alice said, it looked like it was from a fairy tale. But Henry, he was a sensitive child. We had one month of peace in that house. Dead animals, mutilated rabbits, squirrels, chickens, even dogs. This was no wildcat. This was a spawn of Satan. Get crazy. Oh no. Oh yuck. The spiders. It was off coming out of the those clock are, with I'm Freddy. I'm pretty sure those are black widows too. It wasn't long before I began to have encounters of my own. <laughs> Jeez, man. So do they got to go to the house? Take it on? Head on? Destroy the house? I became convinced it was hiding somewhere within the shadows of our home. Remember Vecna when he was hanging? Had like the things going into his back? Those tentacles or whatever? Yeah. How creepy would that be? Just... Radio just turns on out of nowhere. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, the kids saw it. Oh, he's doing it again! I tried to get the children out. It's gonna happen to the kids. Don't show the kids if it happens. Bro, what the hell happened? Back in the war. It was a memory. I had thought German soldiers were inside. I ordered his shelling. Oh, he'd been living with guilt. He had a he ordered the shelling and it killed civilians. And babies. Oh, just I heard another voice. Don't show the kids. I, no, please don't. Oh man. The demon took my children. Henry slipped into a coma shortly after that. A week later, he died. Tried to join me. Oh, don't! 
Yeah. You wouldn't let me join them. The angel you followed. Who was she? As of right now, they haven't gotten any information that's helping them. I just had a very interesting conversation with Professor Brad. Have you noticed nothing has gone right in this episode for anyone? This is messed. Dear Billy, I don't know if you can even hear this. Two years ago, I would have said that's ridiculous. Impossible. That was before I found out about alternate dimensions and monsters, so... I don't have a good feeling about this at all, dude. I can't tell them that you saved Elle's life, that you saved my life. I play that moment back in my head all the time. Sometimes I imagine myself pulling you away. I imagine that if I had, you would still be here. This is where her guilt comes in. Chrissy's guilt, Fred's guilt, the soldier's guilt, Victor's guilt. She's having it because she feels the guilt from not saving her brother. I'm so, so sorry, Billy. Love your shitty little sister. I still have no confidence yet. I do. I think, you know, she just made amends. Or not. Don't. You got to fight this. You got to <laughs> fight it. Steve, go check right, on her. All right. There we go. Yep. I'm calling it. She wants to get a lawyer if she can. Go, Steve. Go follow. Okay. So now we have. Max. Oh, oh she's in the shit. trance. He sees it. I've been waiting to hear those words, Max. I've waiting. Been... So very long. That's Billy. It's Billy's back. You know, I think there's a part of you that wanted me to die that day. Billy, no, it's not true. It's okay. You can admit it now. No, no, no. Come to terms with it. Come to terms with everything. You have sometimes wished to follow me into death. <laughs> well, that was quick, it Billy. It's time to join fight me. Fight it. Fight it. Fight oh, it. Fight no. it. So is it that she has to come to terms with everything and say it out loud and then Vecna leaves you alone? Oh. You are free to tell your sob story to the police. Okay, so they highlighted that music The box. music, play the music when you're getting, when you're having those, those feelings. He said music was playing. When we asked him about the angel, he started to hum. That music can reach parts of the brain that words can't. I think we can beat him. Follow my lead. No, my God! Hey! <laughs> go, 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 go! Sprint. Don't worry about Those the dudes ain't off. catching you. <laughs> but how can you run? You cannot hide from me. <laughs> Oh, it started up. I was I was waiting whether there's gonna you know, every like eighties like horror movie when you go to start the car, it's like rah, 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 it won't start. I'm calling it's rather me copy. Please tell me you guys have this figured out. You gotta play music. Play the music. Yo, why are you walking don't into it? Don't go don't go into it. Come no. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, the one thing that has to go right in this show. It's gonna go. To it's gonna go right. Just relax. They've got it figured out now. What? That's the other world. The house is all spread apart. You see that? What, what is this? Her song. What's your favorite what song? What? What's her favorite song? Oh man, do you see her eyes? How do we know that what this are is? What you doing in here? What was that Chrissy? Yup. Yeah. How do you like that? No. Oh, no. Oh, the way out. There's a reason you hide from them. She's remembering the good times. She's remembering the happy times. This is so... Uh, th this is... This is good. Come on, come the on, come on, come on, The come symbol on. is, the symbolism here is just next level. Oh! Yes! This is her wanting to live. She wants to get back. God, the sim... This is... This is just beyond brilliant. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
She made it! I knew she was going to make it. I knew she was going to make it. Dude, they totally knew it. Out there. I was like, that's the end I of the episode. No, I knew she was going to make it. Oh my God. This this is, this is, this is some of the most brilliant writing I have ever seen. This, oh my God. Robert England. It oh, was him. Dude, she made it. Oh, woo. Wow. That was good. Wow, oh, you guys. We on that one. You guys weren't kidding. So, wow. I'm going to I'm going to do this. We all just watched the episode. And I'm Well, they already seen it. Yeah, you guys have <laughs> seen it. See. We just saw it. And instead of reviewing what happened, I'm going to go off our normal script here for a minute and talk about the symbolism in this episode because I think it is incredibly important. And never in a million years would I have thought that watching Stranger Things would carry this much substance, this much symbolism, and a message that is this important. What we've learned about Vecna is they went after people who had this regrets from the past. Guilt. Guilt. And as we've been shown, it's guilt that wasn't necessarily from anything that was done on purpose, but just this guilt that these people had. And it consumed them. And it ended their lives chrissy it ended their lives fred it ended their lives it consumed them even uh victor he wanted to end his own life and i think it's such strong symbolism that we go through things in life and if you let it consume you whether you're breathing or not you're, you're not gonna have a life and we saw with max she had this guilt about billy and it was consuming her and it was going to end her life by letting this guilt consume her. And when she talked to her friends, when she came to terms with the fact that it wasn't her fault mm -hmm. and that the guilt she was harboring was nothing that, you know, she could have changed or, or can't change anymore. That's when she lived in the symbolism of her getting away from Vecna. It doesn't look, it doesn't have shit to do with Stranger Things. It doesn't have shit to do with Hawkins. It is a beyond powerful message that if you're harboring guilt and things like that, you're never going to be able to live your life. And if you can let go of that and you can get out of the grips of Vecna, you can start to live your life again. And I am just blown away that a show like Stranger Things kicked out such an incredibly powerful message. Um, you know, when we, that was big. When we started this wrap up, I didn't know if they were going to go into the, the bullying stuff again. And I was going to, and I still will. I was going to kind of, I was going to step up and say you know, this little motivational speech from Oak, which is like <laughs> way out in left field for this reaction channel that we have. But I wanted to tell people, like, look, if you're dealing with bullying, get out there, stand up, you know, because this, this shit's still happening, right? And, and they come in and they deliver this kind of message. And I just can't overemphasize how awesome I think it is that the writers took on an issue did like a good this job here. and did a great job with it. Uh, I'm really worried about Hopper. Um, I know. I forgot about that crew. Now. I'm really that worried disaster. about Hopper. Uh, freaked Gosh. out about... Um, about Will and the crew and having to run from the government because uh, they're looking for L or whoever that is. So that was awesome. Crazy twist and turn with Hopper. But I, I just, I, wow. For, you know, we so see, see so many TV shows and all this stuff try to talk about, you know, <laughs> mental health and positive living and, and getting on with your life and stuff. And the symbolism that they've taken from episodes or chapters one through four wow i i cannot say enough i mean i mean i know we're, we're not doing answer scales for for tv individual episodes like we do for movies this is five five answers just for the symbolism that vecna has shown to represent which we we kind of touched on in the early episodes they made it very clear here what vecna represents and I think this is brilliant writing. I think it's an incredibly powerful message for people who are harboring guilt or are, are having struggles with similar things as the characters in this TV show. Five out of five answers. Unbelievable writing by Stranger Things. Oh my God, mind blown. Uh, echo everything Dave said there. Uh, uh, I'll start real quick on that ending. I said it to Dave before camera, off camera, that 
I was 99% sure Max was going to go. No. And I also thought right there, if they were going to give us that huge tease of like, she's she's going to make it. And then something last second just happens. I thought for sure that was going to happen too. Yes, very critic, uh, very, I was on the doubtful train there, but I was so happy to see that I was really wrong. Glad when that, when that happens, you know, where you're thinking the worst case scenario and then pff, you're wrong. Pff, loved it. That was fantastic. I'll echo all your, your stuff there. You said about the symbolism. That was great. She wanted to live. It was great to see. Uh, real, I'm worried about Hopper now and yeah, Joyce, <laughs> Joyce time. and Murray. Uh, that plan did not go well whatsoever. Uh, real quick on the uh, Will or yeah, Will and all those guys. I don't know if that was the actual like the, like our real military going after them or if that was like some other kind of secret service thing but we haven't seen any other characters introduced so one has to believe that it's the commander either way what an episode y'all weren't lying really looking forward to the next one because there's a ton of shit going on here i will say the one, one more Three thing episodes left that I, I loved that they used music as what pulled her out because regardless of what sort of music you like um what genre you're into there's always you know whatever you're dealing with in life i think music can be can be so powerful whether it be losing somebody and having a song that reminds you of them i i can get weird here uh <laughs> i lost a good friend of mine um in a snowmobiling accident when we were 19 and um Kenny Chesney's I Go Back. Um, every time I hear that song, I think of my friend that I lost. And, you know, sometimes it's breakups and sometimes it's family members that you lose. And, and regardless of whatever we go through in life, there's so many times that there's a perfect song to help get you through bad times. There's perfect songs to help you remember the good times and the power of music. So, I mean, just on top of everything else, the fact that they, they really highlighted the power of uh, of, of how influential uh, music can be on our lives. Um, God, I'm having, I'm having, a, I'm, a, I'm a wordsy person. This is my thing, being articulate. And I'm having a hard time really expressing how incredible I thought this was. And for them to put a message that deep in a, a, a sci-fi TV show, I think is oh, incredible. It was great. Just, Real quick, I want to spin off of that. If you were put in that position with Vecna, what is the song that you would need to hear? In order to get you out really look forward to all your answers in that one if you made it to this point i know a lot of people check out for the reviews but if you made it to this point drop it down <laughs> drop in the comments comment let's chat this one out let's hear your thoughts let's see what you have no spoilers of course for the oak i'm diamond dave we'll see you in the act in the next episode <clears throat> god that was unbelievable people were not kidding holy shit. <laughs>